So, welcome to Rome. <laughs> Let's get started, guys. <laughs> our first full day here in Rome. We're at the train station. We just booked a ticket to Roma Termini and we're gonna go to the Colosseum, guys. I'm so excited because, I mean, it's the kind of photos you only see online, so, <laughs> until you actually go and see it. So yeah, I'm excited. We're just waiting for our train. It will be here in like 10 minutes, five minutes. Ish. Five to 10 minutes. It is a gloomy day. That's why I'm wearing a jacket. Too much chest. It's raining while well, drizzling actually. But you know what? It's actually cute because it just it, it gives a different vibe. It's more relaxed, more chilled. Hopefully that means there's no tourists or like fewer tourists. Yeah, we're really hoping this rain is chasing the tourists away so when we get to the Coliseum, there's no one there. We highly doubt it because we feel like people <laughs> like us will just put on a rain jacket and brave it out. So that's the plan. See you guys at the Coliseum. just to take it all in, see all the corners of this terrace and it's free entrance guys. It's it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> this sorry. Is... You gotta feel it all. Like look at this. Wow. And what's cool is that like the higher you go the more you see the different angles you get. It's just magnificent. Oh my gosh. Whew. Guys, it's literally three o'clock and it's the first time we're having lunch. We just found a random restaurant on the side of the road. We ordered nothing Italian. But we're just hungry, so we ordered burger and chips. Oh. There's a, a beautiful one with a waterfall. If you look behind me, that's like the parliament building. So we're just gonna go to the 
Chevy fountain and then I think we ticked off everything for the day. stop along the grocer across the street to just get some breakfast for tomorrow as well as McDonald's. We just, it was there, we fell for the temptation and it is what it is at this point. But let me talk to you guys about the whole like t -t 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 the Trevi fountain experience. Holy smokes. Let me get my milkshake and then I can, I can tell you all about this. Okay, so the Trevi Fountain, you guys, that experience, it's so many people. Granted, there's always like people at these tourist sites. One moment. Anyway, so there's like a barricade around the fountain now because you know, you have, like, there's a whole myth that you have to throw a coin into the fountain. So the barricade is quite a few steps away from it, so you can't actually sit anymore on the fountain. So there's a lot of people trying to get to the barricade. It's almost like, have you ever been to a concert at a stadium and everyone just wants to be in the front? It's kind of like that experience. You have to wait the perfect moment for your picture moment. If you're going there for photos, I'm just giving you some tips and helpful information if you don't like that. But honestly, the water is aqua blue. So beautiful. It is an experience. I would highly recommend going, even though there's tons of people. But also remember, it's, everyone's going for a photo, so eventually people move away once their photo's done. So just wait it out, and then you'll find a gap where you can get cool photos. So it's raining now. It's been raining on and off for throughout the day, actually. That's why it was very difficult to vlog, because I didn't want to take my camera out in the rain. But it was a lot of walking, a lot of experiencing very beautiful buildings. Basilicas. The best architecture. Well, yeah. quite beautiful architecture. Yeah, the architecture is insane and so, like, you can feel and see the history in the architecture, which is just another level to experience as well. But yeah, we're home. Tomorrow's a new day. To be honest, we're just gonna bloom. <laughs> <laughs> she said it! <laughs> um, we're just gonna bloom tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and chill it out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. which is by the museum and that sound I don't know if you can hear is thunder that's the museum over there and it's about to be 80% rain so we are hoping we don't get caught in the rain but at this point it's already drizzling so we'll see what happens wow it's Oh, 
actually, I don't know, we, we made it to the Vatican. That was, we spent a couple, like, two hours, mm -hmm. two, three hours there. And then we just started walking, which led us to one, like, where did it go take us? I can't even remember. All the way down to the Spanish steps. Yeah, like, from the Vatican, and then we landed up. We went down, like, the high street where all, like, the big shopping brand names are, and... Inserts, ASAP Rocky and Leon, his fashion killer. We just stumbled upon that, and we were like, oh, we're in the high street. And then we ended up at the Spanish steps, which was actually really beautiful. But, again, these touristy places will always have a lot of people. So we just came home and we're actually gonna ha now have dinner at the restaurant on this camping site. So we've never tried it, so hopefully we'll have some good food. But we'll take you guys along. Our last min our last dinner together, also in Italy, for her at the moment. That's where we're going. We're going to the restaurant. We're gonna hopefully get some pasta. Ooh. And some red wine. <laughs> oh, it's wow. raining. I speak like a red wine. <laughs> so, hopefully, it's good. I'm like really curious. More drinking than eating, actually. I mean, when in Rome, right? <laughs> Jokes. Not joking. <laughs> sauce, not sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're pretty hungry. Bye. So we just came back from dinner from the restaurant. Guys, to be honest, it was pretty average. <laughs> My pasta, I had like the spinach cheese one. It wasn't bad, I'm not gonna lie, but it wasn't like an Italian restaurant. So I'm not gonna like bank down pasta in Italy because we went to the wrong place. But now we're gonna try a cannoli, if we're saying that properly. And I'm That's saying fine. we're just doing this. This mm -hmm. is our last Italian trying experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both haven't tried it, so. Is it, it's hard. Yeah, it is really hard. You have to bite it. Okay, I'll bite this side and you can bite that side. Okay. Oh, the crunch. <laughs> Your face. I don't know what that means. I don't use it. Oh no. So guys, a little look. Mm. Okay, it's confusing. Hmm. It's super cheesy, but like in a desserty way. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Let us know down below if you enjoy cannolis. Mm. Oi, as is falling apart. And. I'll see you guys. We're gonna have to say goodbye to her. We're just gonna pack for the rest of the night, so nothing fun. So, see you in the morning. <laughs>